Hi, it's Laura from Time Mummy 2 and I'm back again with another Christmas toy review. Now, this is the Barbie Starlight Adventure Remote Controlled Flying Hoverboard by Mattel. It's for ages 8 plus and is for indoor use only. Now, I actually requested this product um, for me to do a video with. And the reason being is... We're not huge Barbie fans. Um, we love the movies, like my girls have got movies that they've created going back years and years and years, and they really enjoy those. But when it comes to the dolls, it's all about fashion. Um, so actually, when we saw this, we were really impressed. I mean, they have put Barbie on a hoverboard. A flying Barbie. It's beyond anything I was expecting to come from Mattel. So. I actually asked to see this to see whether it is as good as I hope it is. So I'm going to get it out. Um, and whilst I get it out, I'll tell you a little bit more um, about it. Now, the Barbie Starlight movie is the new film that's come out. And we actually did a review of the Barbie with the flying cat thing, which is one of the, the toys um, for, from the movie as well. And it's taking a cat who's got like a jetpack for a walk. And it was, again, it was one of those that was like slightly different, but it wasn't all about Barbie being fashionable. It was actually this space adventure. And we really like that. And we do have the film and the girls really enjoy the film. So it was one that we were um, really looking forward to trying. So as soon as they saw this one, they knew that they had to give it a try. And obviously I get to play with the toys before they do, which is always good. So we've got a couple of warnings. We don't, don't put your fingers in the blades. Don't hold the edges when you're turning the blades on. So they're, they're quite useful. Um, and it says instructions indoor use. So let's have a look at what we've got, how we get this out of its packaging. That's the remote control. Our wires here with some spare blades which is always good it's always nice when they think ahead of what could actually get damaged um, and provide you with those just in case that you manage to do that um, rather than like have to damage something and then contact them saying do you have any spare parts it's nice that they think about that in advance so let's have a look at what we've got again more packaging Okay, so these are just held in nice and easy to unclip. There you go. So this is super light. This is made out of polystyrene. It's got the stickers on it, and then obviously it's got the blades um, that sit there. And then on the back, there's a on and off switch, a little charging port, and obviously all the motor and things on there. So let's have a look at what we've got with the controller. So obviously we've got batteries. Um, it does state that we need, oh yeah, it's straight on the front. It says requires three AAA batteries not included. Luckily, I came prepared. So let's get these batteries into the handheld controller. Okay, so it does say that the controller needs three AAA batteries, and luckily I came prepared. So let's get these in. Nice and simple. Okay, and to charge, what you need to do is charge the hoverboard from the controller using the wire, I'm assuming. Oh, actually, using this wire. How cool is that? So what's this one for? OK, 
okay so you can actually charge this controller with the usb lead um instead of using the batteries i think hang on let's see Char you must charge the hoverboard before you first use charge time is approximately 120 minutes or more charge time is two hours or more so whilst i read the instructions i'm going to stick this in charge and i'll be back when it's ready i suppose see you in a bit so i've managed to charge the barbie um handset and the barbie hoverboard which is actually on the floor at the moment and i'm just going to show you how it flies so this is the controller let me just focus in on it so you could see it there you go so this is the auto up and off button so that controls the propellers and this button does a 360 spin this is the button that controls on off and charging forward backwards left and right and then this one controls your height so if you're too high or if you're too low so let's focus on those toys again let's see if you can see barbie in action so i'm going to press up this is the barbie hoverboard so you can see that we've got four different propellers you do also get some spares and then barbie it's all made out of really lightweight foam then on the bottom you've got the on off switch and the port that plugs in now this plugs in to the cable that comes out of here so in the back of here you've got the cable that comes out and plugs into there and then you get a normal usb charging cable that goes from either a powerpoint into there or from your laptop into there um, and that's what charges it. so i'm going to turn this off like that so as you could see when i was flying it it was fairly easy for me to be able to hover and control now that did take a while to do um, because when it first came it was a little bit out of control but you have these buttons on the side now these are just to trim it so if it was veering too much to the left when i first turned it on i had to trim it by pressing this one and eventually i managed to get it so it just went up and hovered and then i was able to control the direction that did take about five minutes of messing it around um but once i've done that i've been able to turn it off i've been able to charge it i've been able to plug it in everything and just turn it back on and it works fine so you should only have to do that once it was really simple to use um i found it quite easy to get control of it flying so i think it's great i love to see barbie doing something different and this is definitely something that we we really enjoyed so that's me i'm tired mummy too and this has been another christmas toy review i hope you've enjoyed it let me know what you think of barbie hoverboard um and yeah i will see you soon don't forget to subscribe to see more of my toy reviews bye